The Ibanez Micro Series of electric guitars and basses has long been considered by most to basically be kid stuff. But are they? This is an extended ownership review of my GSRM 20 Micro Bass. Hey, what's going on? Welcome fellow cave dwellers to RJ's Cave, possibly the most financially challenged guitar oriented channel in all of YouTube. I'm RJ, you are awesome, thank you for joining me, and yes, this is actually going to be an extended ownership review of my Micro Series Ibanez GSRM20 bass guitar. We're going to take a look at it, we're going to talk about the original purchase and the unboxing, we're going to talk about how I feel about it now, we're going to hear a little bit, and then I'm going to give you my opinions on whether this thing is supposed to be a toy or not. First things first, let's check it out. All right, so it looks pretty good, right? So let's go over the specs real quick. Now, the GSRM20 is from the top down, all right? It's 28.6 inches in scale length. That's, I believe, 724 uh, millimeters. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. But I did check, and uh, but the brain's not so good though. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, look, you got about 28.6 inches of scale length here and um you got tilt back headstock four in line uh four two at a side tuners rosewood fretboard maple neck with a very slim narrow c shape we got the uh, burnt orange finish on the body which they tend to call uh, i believe it's roadstar red those pickups those aren't the factory ones the factory ones that came with this base have uh 6k output they're balanced that way they're both about the same output obviously one's a p humbucker one is a j uh single coil there's one thing that they don't tell you uh, when you pick it up when you buy one the neck pickup excuse me the bridge pickup is actually a neck pickup on a uh, full scale base so you decide if you pick one of these up and you decide to upgrade you need to take that into account okay because a neck pickup has a narrower uh, pole piece spacing than you would find on one uh, on a bridge pickup because of the added because of the added distance the pole pieces are slightly wider to stay underneath the strings at the bridge so in this case the narrower the narrower string width plus the shorter string length means a narrower width at the bridge so you need to have a neck pickup the reason i say that is because that's what i did here i found two separate pieces i couldn't buy a kit because you can't get a neck pickup in this position in a kit so i had to buy these separately and put together a kit of my own um, before we get into that in case you're wondering the bridge is pretty solid it's not an overly complicated design but it's a very functional one, right and uh one thing out of the box the knobs that come with this, or at least that came with mine, were plastic. I believe they still come with plastic. If they do, and you happen to know, share in the comments, please. If not, and you know, same thing, all right? Anyway, so out of the box, this thing is actually pretty good. I liked it a lot right out of the box. And speaking of out of the box, when I first got it, it was actually in pretty good shape. It wasn't perfect. I did have to adjust the truss rod slightly, and there was some fret uh, sprout down near the body, which is kind of common actually. And uh, I didn't consider it a big deal. You know, you tape off the pickups real quick, a little quick filing, and you're done. It takes about five to 10 minutes, no big deal. Anyway, for me, it wasn't an issue, and uh, I've had fun with this thing ever since. Now, I did change the pickups. I'm going to uh, set it up so that we can hear it now, but, know that the pickups you're hearing aren't going to be quite the same that you're going to get but uh, it's 
still. You, you, no one expects this thing to sound anywhere near it sounds right out of the box even. They think it's a toy and it doesn't sound like one. So let me set that up. All right, so I'm all set. I have two counters set up and they're both using room mics. So if you can't hear me too well, I apologize, but I figured this is the best easy way you guys to hear this, okay? So I'm also gonna be using my, my Donner DBA30 bass amp, which is brand new. I purchased it for review here on the channel, so look for that soon, okay? And I'm gonna be using the PTU-12 wireless system. Uh, but right now I'm just playing the uh, the P-Bass pickup. <laughs> because it's a single coil, that's 60 cycle long. Now, I'm doing them both together. All this is with the tone all the way up as well. Alright, so this bass sounds good and it looks good, at least to me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now, as for my opinions on this thing, it comes down to two questions for this video, right? We want to know if it's a toy, and if it's not a toy, is it any good, right? Well, I can tell you right now, this thing is definitely not a toy, alright? Long story short, the marketing department saw the specs of this thing and said, Oh, we can market this to kids. Right, but it's really not a toy. When I picked this up, it was because I thought, oh wow, speed bass, you know what I'm saying? I could learn how to play like really fast on this. And that's why I picked it up. This, the neck is narrow and it's slim, all right? Now, is it any good, right? Yeah, it's definitely a really good pickup. If you wanna buy one of these, if you're thinking, gee, I don't know, because it's a toy, don't hesitate. This thing is a really, really solid bass right out of the box. You can definitely have fun with it, and you'll definitely surprise a few people just by plugging it in and playing it, because they're going to look at it and go, gee, what is that? Right? It's not every day you see something this small that sounds this big. Trust me. All right, so definitely, if you're interested, pick one up. Now, everybody, please, before we depart today, stick around just for two more minutes, okay? Because i got a couple of important things to share with you. RJ's Cave it's now official we have our own merchandise store over at the channel pages and these right now there's a whole bunch of stuff that's actually 20 percent off the new version of the shirt that i'm wearing as well as the coffee mug are 20 percent off there's also the new rj raves shirt and mug they're 20 percent off okay and anything that has make music make magic on the back like this shirt Or there's one that's actually just has a whole scene on the front that says make music make magic all of those are also 20 percent off okay so now is a great time to go check out the rj's cave store also rj's cave just opened up the memberships okay if you head over there in, in the next couple of days you'll see a video that's going to be posted up there as well as a shorter less informative one for the general public that kind of just nutshells things um that it's going to explain all the all the ideas that I have going into opening up the memberships. And it's, if you're interested and you want to see get an idea what's going on, you can just go over there and you take a look at the different tiers and it kind of explains the overall plan. All right? Now, I want to thank everyone for coming. And if you're stuck around this long, how about subscribe, subscribe and ring the notification bell and smashing that like button, okay? Because when you do all that stuff, you feed the algorithm and you help yourself and you help the channel because you get to know what's up with us and we get to see you more often. 
right? So everybody wins, okay? And if you really did enjoy yourself and you feel so inclined, you can also help us buy a coffee by clicking the super thanks button down there. It allows you to give us a tip, which of course we only use to help the channel and we greatly appreciate. You guys have been awesome. I've been RJ. Until the next one, take care.